Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build and monitor a database in under 10 minutes. We're going to be using a platform called Superbase to build a Postgres database. And this allows us to basically spin up a new database very quickly. And once that is done, I'm going to show you how to then monitor that database using a platform called Alati. Alati is a platform that allows you to monitor your applications. So it allows you to monitor your web applications, it allows you to monitor your databases, and I'm going to show you how to monitor your database in this video. So monitoring your database is very useful because it's going to alert you whenever something is wrong. So if something crashes in your database or the CPU usage spikes up, that means there's a lot of traffic being directed into your database. Or if anything just goes wrong in general, monitoring will help us know about that early on so we can fix it quickly. Now before we start, head over to alati.ai or click the link in the description below to create an account on Alati so you can follow along with this tutorial. Now without wasting any time, let's get straight into this video. The first thing that we're going to do is to create a database on Superbase. Superbase is a platform that basically allows you to create Postgres database. It allows you to also use some other features in your application like authentication, instant API access, real-time subscription, storage, and so much more. But for this video, we're going to be using it to create a Postgres database. So just go to Superbase and log in or create an account if you don't. And once you've done that, it's going to bring you to this dashboard. So I already have one project created, but what I'm going to do is to create a new project. So I'm going to show you how to create this step by step. So just click on new project and then choose organization. I'm going to choose the main organization and it's just going to ask for your project name. So I can just say new project. You can name it anything. And then you're going to give you a password, right? Okay, so you can give that. And for the region, just give it the closest or input the closest region to you. So I am in the UK, so I'm just going to put London and create a new project. This is literally all you need to do to create a new project. And it's automatically going to create a database. I'm going to say not now. It's automatically going to create a database. You're going to have access to storage, so much more, right? So as you can see, it says setting up project. So this is good. This is what we want right here. Now it takes a couple of minutes to set up a project, but once you have this done, this is literally everything that you need. So I'm just going to go back to the home page because I already have a project created earlier. I'm just going to open up that project because I don't want to waste your time by waiting for that other project to create. So right now you can see that we are in this project that I created earlier and what I'm going to do is to come here, right here, and you're going to come into project settings and we're going to come into API. So this is basically what we need to connect it. So right here we have a database already. If you come into database, you can see that we have this Postgres database right here. You can easily connect it to any of your applications. So as you can see, this is the Postgres database, right? This is the host, the database name, port, user, and whatever. So if you come here, you can see that you can connect. This is PostgreSQL. You can connect it to Golang, .NET, Node.js, Python, basically anything that you're building. But that's not what we're doing in this video. In this video, I just want to show you how to monitor this database to make sure everything is okay and going well with your database. So to do this, what I'm going to do is to come into Alati. Alati is a platform that basically helps us monitor all our applications. So it helps you monitor your website. It helps you monitor services that you use in your website. It also helps you monitor databases. And I'm going to show you that in this video. So go to alati.ai or click the link in the description below and just create an account by clicking this button right here. Once you create an account, it's going to take you to this dashboard. So this is my dashboard. As you can see, I already have some stuff, some monitoring. I have a couple of websites, a couple of app frameworks, a couple of status pages. But what I'm going to explain to you in this video is the database portion of this. So as you can see, I already have one database that is being monitored, right? And I also did this to save time because it takes a couple of seconds to actually start monitoring this. But I'm also going to show you how to monitor your database. So what you just need to do is to come in here and click on Superbase. So if you have just like a managed PostgreSQL database on another platform, then you can just click on this and connect that. But because we are using Superbase, we're going to click on Superbase. As you can see, you can use 
AWS relational database service. You can use Rabbit, you can use MongoDB, Redis, whatever you have. These ones are coming soon. So Redis, MongoDB, and Rabbit are coming soon. But these are what we have right now. So now just click on Superbase and you need two information. So you need your project URL and you need your API key. So I'm going to show you how to get this information and then create your monitors. So this is what it's going to monitor. It's going to monitor the CPU of that database, the memory and the storage usage of this database, just to make sure everything is working fine. Now we're going to come back in here and I'm going to come into API. So you see where you have this project URL, we have a field called URL. What you need to do is to copy this field, come into Alati. I'm going to bring this, paste that in there. This is what we need for the project URL. And then for the API key on that same page, if you come down, you're going to see project API keys. There are two fields. We have the public and we have the service, service role, which is secret. Now, what you're going to do is to click on review and it's going to review your API key and then click on copy. Once you have that done, come in here and then paste it in here, right in here. And once you do that, you can click on create three monitors. So I'm just going to paste something random, right? This is not mine, but just paste in your API key, then click on create three monitors. And this is going to go ahead and monitor that database for you. So I already done that before I started recording this video. I've started monitoring this particular database right here. And this is it. As you can see, it says it is healthy. I'm going to click on it and explain in detail what is going on. I'm going to click on not now. So as you can see, it is monitoring three things. As I said earlier, the memory usage, CPU usage, and storage usage. So I'm going to go back to memory usage and you can see the chart. It shows you how much memory it's using. As you can see, you see the value, you see the date and time. It shows you in like a chart format. So when you start monitoring it to the current time, and if you come into CPU usage, it does the same thing. So this one is more of, it, it has more of like a seasonal chart. And if we come in here, the, the, the storage usage, this is more stable. So this is good. We can see what is going on with our database. But there is one thing that is important. How do we even interpret what is going on? Like I can see some values. I can see the chart. I can see what's going on. But how can I understand all of this? Now that is where agents come in. Alati has a feature called agents. So they are called smart agents. And what they can do is they can help you do basically whatever you want. In this situation, I'm going to use it to help me understand what is going on with my chart. So what I'm going to do is to come to this button, to this link right here and click on agents. And you're going to come down to database performance agent. So it interprets your database metrics with expert advice. So it uses AI to basically interpret your metrics. I'm just going to click on add agent, and right here, you just need to select your database. So we are monitoring this database right here and it's a super base database and you're just going to click on it and the agents run frequency. So you're going to click on how frequently this agent should run. I'm just going to say every day and agent's name. So I could just say something like super base agents, something like this. And I'm going to create and run agent. Now this has created that agent successfully and now we can click on super base agent. So it's going to take a couple of seconds to process the request. As you can see, it says agent report processing. So it's going to actually go into that database, look at the metrics and then tell you what is going on. If you come in here, you can see that it says it uses GPT 4.0, which is the latest AI model from OpenAI and is very effective. So this is how to set up a smart agent that basically explains to you what is going on in your metrics. So right here, as you can see, it still says agent report processing. It takes a while to actually build up that report. What I'm just going to do is to pull up a screenshot of an example of an agent that does the same thing for another database metrics. So as you can see right here, we have the chart and this is just another metric that shows the usage and right here below you can see that we have some reports generated by AI. Now that is a smart agent that explains to you what is going on in your metrics. So we've come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and understood everything that we did in this video. If you did, please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions about Superbase or Alati, please drop it down in the comments and I'll make sure to answer all questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.